Hello again, and welcome in to the Ancient Gamer Channel's playthrough of Fallout 3 Point Lookout. Now, I've noticed when I see on YouTube playthroughs of Fallout 3 that folks generally tend to uh, stick to the main story and leave it to that. I want to do a playthrough that's got the entirety of Point Lookout done. So, with that said, I'm going to be doing all the quests within Point Lookout, all the little things within Point Lookout. I'm just going to try to do Point Lookout in its entirety through this series. Now, in order to go there, I'm bringing along a few extra things. Let me show you my setup. I'm not bringing a lot of my weaponry from the Wasteland, because, simply put, I like the stuff that I wind up getting out there a lot better. This is going to take me out of some heavy spots. I've already played through Zeta, that's why I've got so many alien power cells. The bottle cap mines and the frag mines are for the main story. Frag grenades and nuka grenades just because I like them. Pulse grenade, I'm going to be running into some robots eventually, so I'll bring those along. And the terrible shotgun and the Shulong rifle are my two favorite uh, guns from the game, so I'll be bringing those along. The rest we're all we're just going to earn from being at Point Lookout. Now, let's see. Oh yeah, I should say this. I have also played through Anchorage, and I've gotten the winterized combat armor through the uh, Gary 23 glitch, and I tend to like that much more than others. I do use the winterized uh, T-51B, but that clank, 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 clank that the character makes tends to annoy me, so I'm, go I'm going with this one just for the kick, just for the sake course from the uh, point the mothership Zeta I've got the adaptive biogel and alien epoxy that I've managed to find through doing it now refined punger fruit I'm bringing this along for the sake of a quest and you can get this even from the start of the the start of your game from the food vendors you have to give them a bit but the, eventually the food vendors will start offering refined punger fruit I try to buy 10 before I go out to point lookout and then of course Six fission batteries. Again, that's for another quest. You don't really need to do these. I just like to be a little over-prepared when I head out to Point Lookout. So with all that said and all that ado, let me introduce you to my character. And after we do that, she's wearing the winterized combat armor, as I said, and is also wearing Red's bandana and the Lucky Shades for perception and the luck bonuses. So with all that said, all that done, I will meet you at the uh, at the Duchess Gambit, the ship that's going to take us to Point Lookout. I'll see you there. And we're back. We're here at the Duchess Gambit. <clears throat> and it never fails. No matter how much planning you put into these things, you can always manage to forget something. I went back to the house in between. I came here and uh, then realized I forgot something. And... Uh, Went back and snagged what Nuka Cola I had and a Nuka Cola Quantum for the sake of something that's going to happen during Point Lookout I wanted to show off. So, anyway, let's get this trip started. Let's go talk to Catherine and Tovar and get on our way to Point Lookout. You! Are you going to Point Lookout? I need your help. My daughter stowed away on the Duchess Gambit a few weeks ago, and I've been worried sick ever since. I haven't heard anything from her, but if you're going there, could you look for her? Please, I'll do anything to help. Oh, bless you. Her name is Nadine, and she left a couple of weeks ago. Said she wanted to see the world. Silly little thing that she is. That Tobar said he dropped her off at Point Lookout, but who knows what's happened to her since then. I don't know if you can convince my little Nadine to come back. Just give her this note from me, would you? Okay. Do you know anything about Point Lookout? Only that it's where Tobar gets those punga fruits he sells off. Must be making a good profit off of them, too. I hear rumors the place is full of swamps and killer plants, but I don't know about all that. Can you tell me about her? She's about your age, and when she left, her hair was dyed bright orange. You, 
shouldn't have any problem recognizing her. Yeah, she She told me she wanted to go find her fortune, but I thought it was too dangerous. I should have known better than to say that. The moment I told her she couldn't go, it was just a matter of time before she ran off. All right, let's get going. Please, find my daughter. Let's do this thing. Get out of the way. All right, let's talk to this. Welcome, my friend. Forward. I am Tobar the Ferryman, and this fine vessel is the Duchess Gambit. We're just back from Point Lookout, but it won't be long before we set off again. Interested? That might be what's so special about it. You look like a woman who's been around the wastes, so I'll cut right to it. In Point Lookout, you'll find fresh-grown food, mysterious locales, and treasures as of yet unlooted. But keep your wits about you because there's more than a few exotic critters and inhospitable locals. So stay here if you're too dainty to rough it. <laughs> you should have seen her back in her heyday. Why, we traveled up and down the coast from the Commonwealth to the Broken Banks. Good times, but these days she's not fit to take out to the coast. Too many spouts ready to drown her and too many critters looking for lunch. But the point lookout run is good enough for now. We've got a sweet deal ferrying cargo and the occasional traveler. All right, let's get a ticket. Looking for fame and fortune? Hoping to cultivate the delicious punga fruit? Or just looking to run away from your life on these dreary shores? 346 dollars? Caps, rather. Jeez. Fortunately, if you stay in Point Lookout the entire time, you only need the one. Trade off to this fucker. Nah, I'm just gonna go with that. Do I need anything else? Once you've got a ticket, just head into the cabin and settle in on the cot. We'll be there in no time. Ah, Nadine. Sprightly little tomboy with more curiosity than common sense, that one. <laughs> Caused so much trouble on the trip that I probably would have thrown her overboard. <laughs> If she hadn't reminded me of myself at her age. I haven't seen her since we hit land at Point Lookout. But knowing her, I'll bet she's gotten herself in plenty of trouble. Good stuff, isn't it? Actual healthy food grown in the actual ground and everything! There's a few places out in the point where it grows naturally. One group of tribals have cultivated and refined it, but they're not big on sharing. Don't even ask how I get my hands on the refined crop. A magician never reveals his secrets, does he? Okay, enough of this. Let's get going. Whenever you're ready, just take a rest on the cot in the cabin. We'll be at Point Lookout in no time. All right, let's go and do that. scavenge so just get right to it this is unique unlike the other two uh, DLCs um, Mothership Zeta and um, point, uh, damn it. Operation Anchorage this isn't a one-time deal you can leave and return from Point Lookout as much as you want to so you don't have to get everything in the first shot you can just go to Point Lookout go back to the wasteland etc etc here we're coming up on it. Now the reason I grabbed my Nuka Colas was because I'm uh, I've got the quantum chemist perk going on and I'm converting all my Nuka Colas into quantums. I love the Nuka grenade just that much. And like I said, the quantum I brought for a special purpose, which I'll show you once we get to that particular quest. Yeah, level two. I'm just about to hit level 27. So, let's see what uh, Tobar has to say now that we've arrived. Welcome to Point Lookout, my friend. The trip was fine. The weather's nice and damp, and Ugh. everything out there looks pleasant as ever. Damp weather. Looks like nothing's changed since my last visit, except all that smoke I saw on the way in. <laughs> Should I be worried? What's over there? Oh, nothing much. Just old Calvert Mansion. Just a huge abandoned estate teeming with who knows what opportunities for profitable scavenging. 
You know, nothing much. I know I said Point Lookout was perfect for treasure hunters, but it's a rare day when you get a beacon like that. Oh, he's so not trying to get me to go there. Not at all. Alright. Depends what you're looking for. If you need supplies, head to the shop over at the end of these docks. Convenient? And I get caps for referring you. If you need a place to stay, there's an old motel further into town. The beds there are still pretty soft, even if it's because they're full of lice. Ugh. And if you're looking for some hunting, there's a fella named Plick who runs a club out in the Northeast. Strictly for high rollers, though. Yeah, we'll be doing that. Uh, let's go ahead and head in. Good travels to you. Alright, so, one thing I should mention now that we're here is this is a high-level character. And as you saw, I'm just about to hit level 27. So at level 20, I take the Explorer perk. So every uh, dot on the map is already open to us and can be seen. Or is every map? Is every dot put out? Anyway. The place I usually start is, well, let's just start in, and we're going to eventually wind up at Pilgrim's Landing and the Homestead Home Motel. That's where we're, that's going to be our base of operations for our time in Point Lookout. Let's go ahead and find it. Madam Panada. Oof. I have a real problem with that character. Her voice. Let's go ahead and stop at her place before we head out. It's, it's not this way. It's this way, I believe. Yes. Her house of wares. Strangely enough, she managed to get a protector. Move along, please. That's colored like an outcast protector. Kind of interesting. Now you look at that girl right there, and you think she'd have a young, sexy voice, right? Not so. Well, hello there, young traveler. The fates had told me that I would receive a visitor today. But I'm being rude. I am Madame Panada, and this is Madame Panada's House of Wares. For all things a traveler needs, I am here to provide. Bullets, stim packs, armor, weapons, junk. If you need it, Madame Panada has already anticipated your need and procured it months ago. Yeah, I hear that voice. I think lady, old lady sitting in front of a crystal ball. I don't think so, honey. But we will be back eventually. Take the greatest of care in the world, young traveler. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. Let's go ahead and hit our base of operations. That being motel. One other perk I have that makes this interesting is the animal friend perk. So you're going to see a bunch of dogs in the yard, and, but the only thing is they're not going to give me any problems. What's nice about them is they actually act like guard dogs should anybody actually come by and want to give me trouble. Who's a good vicious dog? Yeah! Huh. Let's go ahead and head over to room 1D, which seems to be open for some reason. Grizzly site. Alright, this is this case is where I put all my stuff when I'm operating out in the field. Um, this case will not go to will not get disturbed. You're not gonna get messed with by anybody. This is your um, base of operations in here. So let's see. And look at that. They give me a fish and battery to start with, so I only really needed to bring five, I guess. Alright. I'm going to store some stuff that I don't need to carry in the field here, like the Nuka-Colas, the Quantum, the Punga, the Fission Batteries, and let's see, I don't need the Frag Mines yet, that's for the main story, and we're not going to do that. I don't need the Pulse Grenades, that's also for the main story, and we don't, that's for a different story rather, we don't need them yet. And, let's see. I think everything else is good. I'll keep everything else. Oh, the bottle cap lines I can also get rid of. That gets rid of another eight pounds or so. 
All right, the rest we can keep on us. Let's see what we got here. Chinese pistol, that'll make for good selling, and some 10 millimeter rounds. Nothing in here. Ooh, a stealth boy. And another fishing battery. Yeah, they don't give you many fishing batteries. I really didn't need to bring those now that I think about it, but eh, what the hell. battery and the Chinese pistol and go over here and start our first quest welcome to the USA dr. Shaw you know what I'll go ahead and since this is recorded to my pit boy I'll go ahead and play this there's our first quest, the Velvet Curtain. Alright. Notes. I apologize that I cannot receive you in person, Agent Zhang. Our Norfolk contact confirms your arrival. How eager the Americans are to believe that a great mind of the people would defect. Our countrymen will herald you as a hero when your work is done. To that end, let us turn to the details of your mission. This room will be your safe house in Point Lookout. Focus initially on playing the American lapdog. Do not arouse suspicion. I love this voice when actor. When it is safe, use the, the key you were given in Norfolk to open one of the public rental lockers on the boardwalk near the motel. You will be provided with the password you'll need to access your mission debriefing. The agreed upon payment will be paid upon extraction. Hyun, Agent Jang. Alright, so we've got some work to do, apparently. This is some leftover bullshit from the Chinese-American Wars. And here's what we're looking for. A locker key. And there's some pre-war money in there as well. That'll sell well. Okay. So, let's go ahead and head on out. But before I do that... I like to explore this place. So the first thing we need to do is find the office. Which I believe is right here. Yes. And let's see. Is this what I'm looking for? That's the room for 1K. And we get our first um, point lookout gun. The double barreled shotgun. Good, good gun. And some shells. War money. Probably shotgun shells. Yep. I do also have the um, scrounger perk on, so didn't mean to do that. I meant to do this. There we go. Look at that. Another fishing battery. Could practically finish that quest in this room alone. I like these Confederate hats. I get them whenever I can find them and put them all into as many as I can. They're good for perception, although they don't last on your character very long. They uh, die out quick. Nothing there. Oh, the other piece of that puzzle. We need, I think, three bags of yeast. So there's one. And some cigarettes. Some Abraxo. Some jet. More jet. I don't get, I don't pick up beer simply put, it's just too, too, uh, doesn't bring back enough money, that is. And the 1G key, so we've got the 1K key and the 1G key. Oh, cool. And we get our second um, gun from Point Lookout, the lever action rifle. It's actually along the lines of Abe's Abe Lincoln's rifle, which is pretty cool. Pre-war money. Shovel, I will carry on my person because for one particular quest. These are actually functional as a weapon and functional as a shovel. And there's another bag of yeast. So, we're rolling. See, I think the G and K keys are the only keys you can pick up here. Let's go ahead and go back out. Alright, head on around, and let's try and find rooms G and K. Alright, here 
there's one. This is room K. Let's have a look. Oh yeah, that's a lovely sight to be greeted to, isn't it? Paint gun. You can actually make a uh, dart gun if you need to, eventually. And another of the weapons you get while you're here, then, the axe. Another bag of yeast. Some moonshine. Turpentine. I don't think there's much of anything else to scavenge from around here. I will take those workman's coveralls. Workman's coveralls are great for repair if you want to slip them. Ah, here's one of the two that I come here for. The pint size slasher mask. That's one of two that are available within Point Lookout. We'll be getting both of them. So anyway, that's room K. Let's find room G. Which I think isn't too far away. Doors, and here we go. This looks like room G. Not quite as grisly as the last time. This room's good for pre-war money. There's a ton of it in this room. Let's go ahead and move Mr. here, because he's covering up some of my spoils. Thank you. Look at this, another fission battery. Alright. Medical brace. Pre-war money. Another double shot, double barreled shotgun. Pre war money, pre war money. Let's see. Go ahead and take all that. And in the bathroom, let me turn on the light. A literal ton of pre war money. More pre war money. A sawed off shotgun. I'll go ahead and take it, even though I don't like those all that much. Let's see if there's anything in the toilet tank. Nope. And that looks to be it. Let's go ahead and head out. Turn the light off, thank you. Keep the place safe, dogs. I'll be back. Oh, come on. There we go. We are headed to the lockers we will be returning to the bank. The People's Bank of Point Lookout. Hmm. That couldn't possibly be a spy bank, could it? Could it? Jeez, let me make sure I'm on the right quest. I still am not. There we go. if I'm going to do this quest in, ent in its entirety and then uh, close it out there. We'll do this in two parts and then move on to the next quest. We'll just have to see how it goes. We will be heading for that lighthouse eventually. We'll be doing everything we possibly can here in Point Lookout. Including apparently a lot of boring walking. Where the heck is this locker? Oh, I walked right by it while I was talking, didn't I? Isn't that funny? Alright, now this is an open, a locker to open that's locked, but it's a very easy lock. So since I've got lock pick 100, all I gotta do is press X. And there's nothing in it. Always found that to be stupid, but at least I'll take the experience. Now, lock to use key. And we get box 1207, the spy's audio password. Okay, now that we have that, we have to go by that bank that we passed earlier. The People's Bank of China, of uh, Point Lookout. Like I almost said, it couldn't possibly be a bank from China, could it? The People's Bank? Boy. Yeah, next time you want to hide, be a little less more transparent here, hmm? And we're about to come across a photo that we're going to need at the person of interest. Bulletin, attention citizens of Point Lookout. 
Wan, Wan Yang, suspected communist and Chinese sympathizer, has been reported in the vicinity of Point Lookout. Agent Yang may be operating under an alias and or using a disguise. You are required to report any suspicious persons on or behavior to Lit Lieutenant Crumfoltz, DIA, at the U.S. Naval Office located at 1811 St. Mary Branch. Okay. That's important for later. So that's why we downloaded everything to the PIP. Let's go ahead and have a look in here. You know what, since we've got stuff to deal with, let's go ahead and break out one of the new weapons, eh? Hey? Alright, which should it be? How about we repair up these double barrel shotguns and blow away some roaches with it. Booyah! Waste of shells, but, well, what the hell. I haven't played the pit yet, so i got to start keep on gathering teddy bears. Let's see. I like to take care of the cockroaches before I go ahead, before I advance the story. More yeast. I think I probably have that quest covered. Oh, that's the same one, isn't it? Fine. I hear you skittering around. There you are. Again, it's a waste of shells, but eh, why not? Oh, hi! Another one bites the dust. Didn't mean to do that, I meant to do this. Ah, let's go ahead and display my lock picking skills. Which are meager at best. Hey, not bad. Uh, I'm gonna leave behind the 32 pistol, but I will take the axe. Leave behind the fishing pole. Look at this, two more fishing batteries. Well, I got room for it. Probably have 12 before this is done. Another lever action rifle, I'll repair those up. Mentats, pre-war money, and some whiskey. There's some things on the computer for us to see. Oh, hey. Before we do that, though, let's get rid of all... Let's take all this stuff. All right. Security updates. In compliance with our our parent company, bad writing there, Isla Necro Holdings, we are installing a new security system for our safety deposit customers. In addition to conventional tumbler locks, the new system will offer a keyless voice recognition lock alternative. Tellers are asked to encourage both existing and new safety deposit customers to sign up for this new service. That's important and going to affect this cost. And that's all we really need from here. I think I'm done shooting things. Look at this, another fishing battery. Alright, so we need to go into the back. And we've got this thing right here. So, what you do with this is take, go to your notes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And play go this. Go to the bank and use the password Xin Chan Wen. The software Voice is configured ID to recognize confirmed. only Access our voices. Granted. Okay. So, we get more free war money and an espionage debriefing. Let's see, I think there's one other in here that uh, you can hit while we're here. Nice. Somebody stockpiled a ton of wine. 1213, we'll be getting the key for that later. I think we will also be getting the key for 1191 pretty soon as well. Let's see. I took those because these were there. Let's get rid of those clipboards now. medical clipboard. Alright. Don't remember, but I thought that other tape was around here somewhere. More pre-war money. Alright. You know, all this time I've been saying I'm going to do everything in Point Lookout. Well, I'm not perfect, and I'm probably going to miss some things here and there, but I'm going to do, do my level best to get as much out of this as I possibly can. Let's put it that way. Let's see, nothing out here. Ah, oh, yeah, the loan officer's desk. Look at this, another fishing battery. Aha! Pass. I knew that box was around here somewhere. All right, I'll go ahead and take that. Anything in that box? No. I don't plan on crafting any uh, bottle cap mines, so I'm not going to bother taking that. Let's go back in the vault. And pull up note 
1191. The audio password for my box is never Processing. More. Processing. Voice ID confirmed. Access granted. And we just get some buff out and more pre-war money. All right. We will eventually open you box 1213, but for the time being, we've got what we need from here. There's Ms. Yang again. Let's go ahead and head back out. Now, the quest says we are next to listen to the espionage debriefing holotape. Let's go ahead and do that. Agent Zhang, as you know, an important Chinese surveillance vessel was lost in American waters. Your mission is to destroy derelict submarine SSN-37-1A before the Americans can recover and analyze it. The recovery location is included in this dossier, and your cover ensures that the Americans will allow you access to their recovery operation. However, you will need an authorization code to trigger the self-destruct sequence. One of our field operatives in your area, Agent Yang, has these codes hidden in a dental capsule, but her current whereabouts are unknown. Locate and rendezvous with Agent Yang, then destroy the submarine. Report to your safe house for extraction information when the mission is complete. The will of the people protect you, Agent Jack. I love that voice actress. She so puts everything into her part. So anyway, we need to find out more info about this Agent Yang. Let's head over to the Naval Recruiting Center. There might be something there about her. Yep, there's bugs. So let's go ahead and deal. Oh, hi! Bye! Yeah, I gotta get another one of these. I figured you were in here. Alright. I might just wind up using some. Ah, speak of the devil. Let's go ahead and repair that and see if we can uh, keep those animations down. We'll repair this while I'm at it. Okay, I hear more skittering. That's the one I already killed. There you are, you little bastard. Alright, I think that's all the trouble we've got in this area. Let's go ahead and scavenge the room out first. See if there's anything I might want to keep. Save that room for last, because that's where the story's leading. Motorcycle handbrake, lunchbox, steam gauge. I don't really need all this stuff. I don't even need the fishing batteries, honestly. Let's see. Okay, doesn't look like there's anything else to scavenge, so let's go ahead and advance the story. Check the file cabinets. Nothing I'm going to take a brief uh, repair time out here. And let's see. You actually put these workmen's coveralls on some of the uh, merchants in the wasteland, and they will be able and it will increase their repair skill by 10. If you put it on, I believe, Crazy Wolfgang, it ups his repair skill to around 90. It makes him the best of the travelers. Is that a mini nuke? be damned. wonder what that's doing here. Go ahead and open the safe up. Ah! Here, I thought I was going to make it through the whole thing without breaking the bobby pin. Let's go ahead and back out and come back in. And let's see. 150 bottle caps. Three war money. Three scoped magnum. Sweet! A couple of shovels, some yeast, need a fishing pole, that's just wearing, weighting me down. Take all this stuff in the first aid box, and let's go ahead and read up on Agent Yang. Yang Capture Transfer. Local community informants provided intelligence leading to the capture and arrest of a priority person of interest, Wan Yang, aka Five Claw Dragon. 
Yang is on file with DIA as a Chinese intelligence field op agent operating within America and Canada over the past decade. Yang has been transferred to the Turtle Dove Detention Camp for interrogation. Our office has so far declined comments to press and diplomats. Please have DOD relations advise regarding a public statement. So we found her. This is what was publicly released about her. That was that um, bulletin we saw. And here's a photo file of her that we're backing up. So we found out what we needed to find out. Where Ms. Yang's at. Or since this is 200 years in the past, Probably where her ske her uh, skeleton is at, really. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to head back to the safe house, drop off some stuff, get some stuff, and make myself ready for the trip up to the Turtle Dove facility. I'll be back. Okay, and we're back. Let's see. What I did was I dropped off a ton of stuff, but I did pick up my punga fruits, my fishing batteries, and my yeast. I think you need three, you might need four, so I'm going to go ahead and bring all six. So if I'm wrong with three, I've, I've got enough with me. And I kept the double barrel shotgun, I kept the the lever action rifle. We're gonna run into some robots out there, so I got the uh, pulse grenades. I could have left this behind a little well. And let's get going. We've got a long trip ahead of us with a few stops along the way. Who's a good vicious dog? Who's a good vicious dog? Guard it for me. All right. We're gonna be making a few stops along the way, starting out with. Haley's Hardware. I'm going to go ahead and set a marker for myself. Let's go ahead and head over to Haley's first. I don't know if I want to use the double barrel shotgun. I think I'm going to use the terrible shotgun for this, just in case I run into trouble. Which I'm thinking I will, crossing this bridge. Oh, wait a minute. I don't have to cross the bridge yet, duh. I'm also going to go ahead and do something with Haley's hardware that's kind of interesting. Let's check the trash can real quick. Can't even check it. Alright. I do have autosave on, and that's going to help me here at least. Oh, let's go ahead and scavenge a bunch of shit that we can sell to Haley. He will buy his own shit that you scavenge from him, crazily enough. Look at this, more fission batteries. I don't need any more, thank you. Another one. Yeah, you definitely don't have to bring batteries with you, do you? Coke machine. People throwing away perfectly good bottle caps. That's just nuts. Hey, what's this? Not the dark damage garden gnome. No, this holotape gnome. No. Let's take a quick look. Blue couldn't raise you this mo on the couldn't raise you on the phone this morning, so I'm having Jenny bring me this note. Your delivery for the store got turned around on these new roads and had an accident. He's run off the road by the cathedral. They'll need some time to sort things out, but Pagno, Pagano rather, probably won't want to wait that long to replace the light hole house's beacon bulbs. You might want to get over to the wreck and hand yourself and hand deliver the bulbs. What that's referring to is, if I can call up the map, this right here, which is on our way. We'll go ahead and stop by that too. But anyway, first things first, let's go talk to Haley. Well, hello there. Welcome to, uh, welcome to Haley's Hardware, where we have hard where <laughs> he hasn't had any customers in a while Something wrong? no no not at all i just not used to people all the way out here my usual customers well i usually smell them before i see them who are your usuals the swamp folk mostly 
I guess they don't bother me none because I was born here. They mostly trade meat and fruit, and never any cash or goods. The mercs are good for some trade and real hardware. So if you need ammo or anything like that, I can help you out. So how long have you had this store? Oh, you're thinking, no, no, it's not a family thing. I took the name of the store when I found this place a couple years ago. Truth is, I don't even remember much before that. Woke up here with a headache a couple of years ago with the shop already set up. People came in and started trading. I didn't complain. It just became a job. Woke up with a headache a couple of years ago. If I recall correctly, the first thing that Soma tells you when you wake up on Mothership Zeta is that you're waking up with a headache. Could Haley be a plant from Mothership Zeta? Hmm, just a thought. So where do you get your stock from? I found some of it. Some was here when I got here. I got some from the Mercs. And every <laughs> once in a while, Smugglers. that weirdo with the boat comes up here and trades a few good things. Alright, enough of this. Show me what you have for sale. I got all sorts of stuff. Take a look. Let's see. Get rid of some of the crap that I'm carrying now. Jeez, do I really have that many shovels? I have to repair those two into each other. Uh, let's see. I'll get rid of this buff out. I don't use buff out that much. Uh, I'll keep that. I'm still carrying a Braxo? Whatever. Let's see. Anything in here of interest? Well, I'll wrap it all up in a double barrel shotgun, but I will get these grenades. I'll repair up my own. Yeah, I can find those kind of things. Oh, sugar bombs. Those are 30 bucks a pop when I resell them. ironic part is I have a ton of shit back home that I could be using to buy this shit, but I forgot to bring that stuff with me, so I'm going to have to actually spend some money here. Uh, the rest of this stuff will keep. Now, can he repair some stuff for I me? ain't met the gun I couldn't fix. Notice his repair skill is 16. Now, let's go ahead... Come back anytime. Them swamp folk types are always bringing me new stuff. Go ahead and go back outside. Now, if I remember how to do this correctly, you reload your autosave. Head back on in. Haley. Welcome back to Haley's Hardware. Alright, can you repair some things for me? Sure as a swamp folks head is squishy. His repair skill just went up 5 to 21. Let's do it again. Outside. Load your autosave. Did I just do what I think I did? Yes, I did. Alright, I'm going to have to go back in. Go back out. Which creates an autosave, I believe. I do that so many times, it's not even funny. And come back in. Good to see y'all alive, friend. Can you repair some things for me? Sure as a swamp folks head is squishy. And his repair skill has gone up to 26. You keep repeating this up until he gets a repair skill of 100. And he becomes... But be careful out there. Them swap folk is nasty. He becomes one of the more useful traders in the game. So I think I'm going to do this one more time just for the sake of doing it. With you on camera. I also... Good to see y'all alive, friend. And can you repair some things for me? Sure as a swamp folks head is squishy. And your repair, his repair skills up to 31. You get the idea. You keep on... Ooh, I can repair Red's bandana. Sweet. Been wanting to repair this for a while now. You can um, keep this up until you get his repair skill Good up to Good doing business with you. 
which I will do off camera. So let's continue onward. I think I'll end this with Marguerite's finishing off Marguerite's quest since she's next in line. Let's go ahead and move my marker so I can find Marguerite's shack a little easier. I'll finish off Haley off camera. I go through the water when there's a perfectly good bridge. Durr! We're gonna run into our first swamp folk around here, if I'm not mistaken. Frag mines, good. I'm gonna need those for the main story. And frag grenades, excellent. First aid. Generally speaking, I don't take dirty water. It's just a waste of space, if you ask me. I don't want to get rads while I get healed. Scrap metal. Whiskey, teddy bear, hunga, buff out, jet. Aha! We got us trouble! Let's get these bastards! These trackers are mean motherfuckers. And they take a lot of damage. Come on, you bastard. That's two. And that's three. Gotta love the terrible shotgun. It may be good for healing, but I will not take human flesh. Ew. Ew. Let's see, where'd the other one die? Here he is. I think this guy had something interesting. He was using a BB gun on me. Really? You can keep it, son. Alright. That little bit of trouble taken care of. Let's go ahead and visit with Marguerite. you are. Man, them things hurt. Alright, who else was shooting me? Search him, please. Thank you. Again, I'm leaving the beer. There you are. Come on. Bloody mess, in case you didn't guess. Let's go inside and start and finish a quest. Before we talk to Marguerite, let's check out this still. Looks nice. Alright, moonshine. the old moonshine still has several loose fittings and some corrosion, but could be repaired with sufficient skill. Leave the still alone. We're going to do that for the time being. being I just wanted to discover it. Let's talk with my, this nice my, lady. Look at you. You ain't have the look of a local young lady. Think you could help a sick woman get on the mend? Oh, please. Reckon it's the orange fever. I do feel light in my head. Orange fever? I've treated enough illnesses to know there's no such thing. Now that is just an awfully rude thing to say, sweetie. You're faking. We both know it. Let's just cut to the chase. Well, I... 
Oh, fine, maybe you're no hogs fool, but I reckon we both come out better if you can help me cook up some tonic. Now we can get down to some business. Let's... Your still could stand to be fixed up. Could it now? I suppose you'd know how to see to that, wouldn't you? I can fix it up, um, but I want 200 caps for it. I reckon you've got a deal, sweetie, but I'd better notice a difference in the tonic. All right, let's go ahead and do that real quick. Make make a couple hundred caps. We are just teasing level 27 right now, aren't we? All right, wake up, lady. I'm not through with you yet. Thanks for mending the still, sweetie. For this fee, the tonic had better taste like honey, though. All right, let's talk about that tonic. Secret family technique. Been so for generations. Help me brew some up by gathering ingredients. I'll share the batch to make it worth your while and sweeten a deal with 300 caps. That sounds good. What's in this stuff, anyway? Tell you what. Have a bit. This is left over from an old batch, but should be a swig or two there. More than enough to loosen you up, I'll wager. What do we... All right, I'll bite. What do we need? This and that. Let me know when you want to work out the details. I just did! There aren't too many ingredients, but I brew large batches, so we need a good bit of each. We'll need a pung of fruit, yeast, and some fission batteries for that extra little kick. Is enough punga for you? I see you sprung for the refined fruit. Good for you, sweetie. Been saving them up since level one. All right, let's talk more about the tonic. We need to gather up the ingredients. I got the yeast. I see. Thank you kindly for these. Let's talk about the tonic. We need to gather up the ingredients. I've got the batteries. I thought so. Those things do carry a smell, don't they? Let me take them off your hands, then. What's the status on our tonic? Brewing low and slow, sweetie. Process takes about a day. Why don't you come back in a piece? All right, so let's back away. Oops, not that. This. And let's give it a day. It only takes 24 seconds to do, after all. Ah, 24 seconds that I need to fill up with some, something anyway, which is why I'm blathering, making no consequential lead or turn turn out to this. Just trying to fill up 24 seconds while the timer ticks down, saying just jibber jabber until finally it clicks off. All right, so. What you got for me, Good Ernie? thing, sweetie. Tonics brewed and bottled. Here's your pay and a cut of the batch. Enjoy it. And there's 50 XP moving us up to a level up. And uh, if you want to make more, you can. You're an eager one, ain't you? I have to let this still air out a few days between brews. Check back with me later. So you can use this as a way to make more money while you're here in Point Lookout. Don't be a stranger now. I guess I'll do the level up on camera with you. Okay, let's finish off Barter. I, I, obviously I've been working hard on this character. And, uh, let's see, where am I going to put those extra 10 points? I'll put five in each, I guess. So I've only got two more things left to fill. And I already know what perk I want. Pyromaniac, because it also... Let's see what else new came up. Just curious. Okay, nothing of interest, really. Ooh, better criticals. Good, I'll have to get that later. What about ninja? Did I get ninja? I don't seem to have gotten in... Oh, that's right. you got to have a certain amount of melee, don't you? Yeah. To get ninja, you need melee of 80, and I'm not probably get that next level. But anyway, for the time being, I want to get the Pyromaniac, because that also increases your Nuka Grenades. Where did it go? There it is, Pyromaniac. I should have gotten this a lot earlier, but I didn't have, but I was concentrating on other things. Alright, so let's head out. We're done with this quest, and I'm also going to call this part done. 
What I'm going to do in the meantime is I'm going to head back to the uh, safe house and drop off some stuff. Namely, I can do this on camera, please. Uh, let's see. I was curious. Nuke grenade, 526. Yeah, came up a little bit. Anyway, I'm going to drop off some stuff, get some other stuff. And when we come back, I'll take it right up here from Marguerite's shack. And, oh, I'm also going to finish Haley's uh, repair skill off camera. And when we come back, we'll continue on to the Turtle Dove Detention Camp. I might stop off at the truck wreckage on the way. No, I'll save the trash heap for later. But I will stop off at the truck wreckage, and we'll probably take care of that as well. So, when we see, when I see you next for part two, we'll finish off this quest and start others. I'll see you then.